I genuinely hope that they manage to focus on what they're good at for Mercury Act 2. Boy, was I wrong. Hi everyone, welcome to Music Monday. Let's talk about this new Mercury Act 2 album by Imagine Dragons. And what an album! 17 tracks that range from good to decent to terrible. This album is a hot mess from start to finish that drags down everything that Mercury Act 1 aspired to be. While the first part was not in any way perfect, it had some good moments and almost no terrible misses. But what the dragon is this album? I normally start by talking about the positives, but I'm having a genuinely hard time coming up with those because all the things that are consistent are bad. The moments where this album does shine are rare and seemingly random. I will say that Sharks is one of the better singles they've put out recently, Blur is kinda good, but it's one third MGK, one third New Day to Remember and one third Old Imagined Dragons. Still kinda works well, but I feel like the main reason for that is that the rest of the album is so bad. Ferris Wheel is very nice and Tide is probably the only highlight on here, but that's where I have to start talking about the negatives. Yes, this early in the video. So let's talk about vocals. This is Dan Reynolds' worst performance with some moments you wouldn't imagine possible on such a mainstream record. So many moments with missed notes, inappropriate note changes, absurd tonality and dynamics that shouldn't happen on any record ever, but somehow made it onto this major release. Staying in that realm, the quality of the lyrics has decreased significantly, super on the nose, Peace of Mind has the corniness of the worst kind of Weezer, and there are so many lyrics that make you question what the hell is happening, especially some of the ill-timed na na nas There are some lyrics that I've heard a thousand times before on here by Avril Lavigne, Machine Gun Kelly, and every other pop-punk artist ever. I will be happy when I'm older. Why is everything never good enough for me? Why is everything never? And then they don't even put a punchline here. Or my favorite, yeah man, sometimes I lie, but sometimes I can tell the truth. I want my money back. Life's one big heart attack. Yeah, man, my throat is dry. Someday everybody's gonna die. My auntie's pretty cool. She did real well in school, but she still don't know where we really go. How is this on a major release? Another problem with this record is pacing. The song placement appears to be random and there's no narrative, which an album doesn't need to have, but at least have some thought go into your track listing. Nothing leads into each other, nothing fits together, there's no structure. You know how now they just shuffle their demos and threw them at us? Look at the last three tracks. I Wish, a song about how Dan Reynolds failed to be there for a friend who passed and how he's a bad friend. Emotional, right? Next song, Continual where he literally says, trust me, take my word, I'll be there for you. Dude, you just told us you can't be trusted with this. And then the last song is again, I wish I could have been there for you. Well, which one is it? Should I take your word or not? Because I am very confused. <sighs> the last thing I need to mention is the production. And even though that's a given for Imagine Dragons at this point, yeah, this album is overproduced as f especially on the vocal side and especially especially on the ad-libs and background the autotune goes crazy on there and not in a good way. I will say that Ben McKee and the Daniels do a good job on the instrumental side of things and they manage to pull off every genre that Dan Reynolds decides to pull out of his magician's head. Ooh, now we do reggae, ooh, now we do rock, ooh, now we do something random. I already said that for the diversity of genres on Mercury 1, the motto seemed to be can't miss if everything is a target, but it's so much worse on here, this time even within the songs, no one is sure what's happening genre-wise and sonically, with seemingly random decisions and transitions happening all the time. I'm deeply disappointed by this album. I don't understand how this really, really famous band didn't have anyone in their inner circle that looked at this album and said, you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe it's not quite done yet. Apparently no one has the guts to stand up to Dan Reynolds at this point and dare to question some of the choices he makes, be they lyrical or vocal. Imagine Dragons are talented musicians with a history of good records and they are clearly capable of more. And with all the criticism for this album, it's still clear that this is not unlistenable because it checks a lot of standard boxes. But within the standard, this album barely has any convincing moments. And that makes Mercury Act 2 a 3 out of 10. That was a 2, but it's a 3 out of 10 because of Mercury 2. I'm gonna leave this in as the outtake. If you're still watching, comment something, like a tomato. Have a good day.